Every day, 15 Americans are diagnosed with a disease that steals their voice, and even worse, there is no cure for it. Eyewitness News reporter Lexi Wilson shows us the high-tech solution helping ALS patients keep their voice. Lexi? David Rochelle, ALS is affecting dozens of people right here in Kern County. And thanks to new technologies, these people are able to store their words for when the disease takes their voice away. Daryl Thiessen was diagnosed with ALS two years ago. The disease is slowly robbing him of his strength, but he's determined to preserve his voice. One was, wow, it's just one word. Thiessen is voice banking through a program called Model Talker. He's recording over a thousand phrases. A wolf ran through the forest. The end result, Thiessen's voice on demand. Losing my voice is something that is hard to come to grip with mentally, but knowing that I'd be able to use my voice to be able to say I love you um, to my family members and my wife is really important to me. Thiessen's voice means just as much to his wife as it does to him. That's going to mean the world or him telling me good night or him telling me he loves me in his voice. Also in this ALS support group is Charlie Wren. Until three years ago, he was a musician and a mechanic. I choose to be happy and to make others happy. He uses this computer, which recognizes what letters he is looking at, allowing him to this type and speak. In the future to communicate on but what you're hearing isn't his voice. It's a robotic one. Do you wish that you did voice banking? Yes, I do. It was a big mistake not doing so. Everyone misses my voice because your voice is your identity. Charlie and his wife Angelina have been married for nine years. Angelina says even though it's not Charlie speaking, he still has the right words to say. I so? love you. Aww. I love you too. And if you know someone with ALS, there is a support group, group offering resources. To find out more on that, head to bakersfieldnow.com. Reporting live in studio, Lexi Wilson, Eyewitness News.